Hello everyone. Well, I'm here with the Keysight EDU 34450A five and a half digit digital multimeter. I'm going to show you very basically how to make very simple uh, DC voltage measurements on it. We'll cover how to make other measurements in other videos, but for today we're just going to focus on DC measurements. So we have a screen, we have some configuration buttons here and our inputs. Um, we have our main input protection fuse. Um, we have soft keys that will do things relative to what's on the display and a power button. So we turn the unit on. And in the meantime, while it's starting up, you should grab yourself a set of multimeter probes. Uh, now you really should always be using probes. Uh, you can fit banana connectors in these um, inputs, but probes are the appropriate tool for the job. So grab a set of multimeter probes. And today we're focusing just on uh, DC uh, voltage measurement. So if you look, on the screen here, you'll see first uh, DC voltage. So ch changing these buttons up here changes what our meter does. So for DC voltage, we're gonna press DCV, and then we will see some uh, information on the screen here. Uh, range, uh, typically we want that set to auto, but for example, that will mean the meter will switch ranges as the voltage changes. So typically you want that, but if you know you're going to be measuring a particular voltage, you can ch uh, check a particular range here. So if you know you're measuring voltages under, for example, under one volt, you can set this to a particular uh, range. But typically we want it in auto, um, and typically we want our input impedance to be high. So this is input impedance. We typically want that on auto um, at 10 mega ohms. So that means that when we attach something, this to a circuit, it's going to impose about a 10 mega ohms impedance on the circuit, which typically for most circuits is pretty uh, minimal effect to the circuit. So over here we have five uh, inputs. Now, typically, unless you are making what we call four wire measurements, you do not want to use the two inputs on the left. You only want to use these three inputs on the right for most measurements. Four wire measurements are for uh, very, very low voltages or very, very low currents. Uh, and these two other wires become uh, feedback control wires. So we don't need them for most of the measurements we will make. We will use the three inputs on the right. Um, and if you look, the bottom input down here is for current measurements. The middle is the common and the top is our voltage input. So if we're making a DC voltage measurement, we're gonna put the top lead in the top uh, red and uh, input and the black lead in the middle black input. So what I'm gonna do real quick is switch to a setup where we have some voltage to measure. Okay, so now we have our DC power supply on the bottom and we have our digital multimeter on the top. And um, before I said use uh, scope, uh, excuse me, multimeter leads, um, but just for this demonstration, I'm going to use banana leads. So I'm gonna take the two banana leads and I'm gonna put plug them into my uh, power supply on the bottom and I'm gonna plug them into the uh, two wire measurement input on the top of my multimeter. Um, now, we want our range in auto uh, and our resolution here we can have at any. Um, the, uh, you can switch between it by pressing this button multiple times. Slow will be the most accurate, um, but fast will give you the readings the quickest. If you're making a bunch of readings, maybe you want that. So. Right now, um, the power supply is on and we can see on channel two, we have zero volts and, and we have you know very close to a zero volt reading here. We have 0.7 millivolts, so basically zero. Uh, now, if I come on my meter here and I'm gonna change the voltage on my power supply, if I change that up to one volt, uh, you'll see the, the digital multimeter will read one volt. Um, and if I keep changing that, if I bring that all the way up, you'll see that as I bring the range up, it keeps following. Uh, but you can see if I make a change, like let's say I dial in uh, third, like let's say 20, 28.0 volts, it's gonna take a second for this to update. Um, and if I dial in like 1.0 volt, it'll take a second for it to actually update. And that is the meter ranging. That is the meter finding out what range it needs to be in. So if you put this range on auto, it will do exactly what you want and it'll always give you a, um, an accurate reading as long as you're within the range that this meter can measure. However, if you want faster readings, you can put the meeting meter in a particular range. So let's say I know I'm going to be measuring signals that are within uh, zero to 10 volts. So I can now put this in uh, the 10 volt range. 
So I've now put it in the 10 volt range and I have one volt coming out of my supply down here. So everything is good. Now, if I bring this up to nine volts, um, it'll update, it'll give me nine volts and everything is fine. Now, as I, if I bring the voltage up more, eventually we will outgrow the range. So now we're at 10 and if I go up to 11, it might still work, but now it says overload. So if you're not in auto range and you see overload, that would mean that the, the meter is not in auto ranging. So it's in a zero to 10 volt range. So it cannot measure 20 volts. If we put this back in auto, uh, it can measure it. And you can see this meter also has a kilovolt. So this can measure pretty high voltages. I, I would not measure a kilovolt uh, here or anywhere in the makerspace without serious supervision. So um, that is how we make DC voltage measurements. Uh, a couple pitfalls. Um, the fuse can get blown out, so uh, if things don't seem to be working properly, uh, ask a staff member to check the fuse for you. Um, and always remember that we, are, we use good cables and we're almost always going to be using the, uh, the right-hand side inputs on this meter. And for DC voltage, we're gonna use the red and black input on the top side of, of the right-hand uh, input here. Um, these are the two wire inputs. Thanks very much, and if you have more questions, just uh, ask a staff member. Thank you.